Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition! Where last time we have made the rounds um, and we talked to almost everybody after our adventures in Halamshural at the Winter Palace. And we have somebody to judge I see, so let's start with that today. Mayor Gregory Dedrick of Crestwood is present for betraying his own country. Ah, Mayor of Crestwood. He confesses that, ten years ago, he flooded old Crestwood to kill refugees and villagers touched by the blight. I almost forgot Mayor about you. Mayor it was to spare the rest of Crestwood, but we only have his word. If the Mayor has anything to say in his defense, let him speak. There's no cure for the blight. But I couldn't convince anyone to leave a sick child or husband behind. So you herded the infected into one place and flooded old Crestwood? Were no innocents caught in the waters? Nearly everyone in the village had the blight. I swear it. Have mercy. I couldn't tell the survivors I'd drowned their own families to save them. I, I, I couldn't. War forces terrible choices on us, but justice demands its due. Gregory Dedrick, I sentence you to a swift death. The day has come at last. Maker, forgive my sins. Right. I think that was the best option here. Not sure if there is a special option for that judgment that is available. I don't think I have ever seen it, even though every other judgment has at least one special option. Sometimes that option is only unlocked with uh, those extra perks. Sometimes it's about race. Sometimes it's about being a mage. But I don't think Mac Gregory of Crestwood has an extra option. You can only exile him, kill him, or what was the third one? Set him free? And I think in this case, you know, execution is the best one. I think this is the only judgment that I ever execute somebody. In almost every other judgment, there is at least one option that is better or at least useful to the Inquisition. So, yeah. And here we have the next judgment. I think this is the Duchess's hat. She's already dead, of course, so we don't need to execute her Perfect. again. This wasn't my idea. It is an issue born of titles and heir apparency and... <sighs> Halam Shiral is having difficulty freeing trade routes formerly controlled by Duchess Florian. Had she been tried, her assets would be forfeit and considerable bureaucracy avoided. So they mm. ask that we judge her. Are you serious? I did my part. She's dead. That was the time allotted for rebuttal. Her crimes negated any claim to... <sighs> Forgive me, there is an order. <clears throat> There's precedent for this? Alright, let's hear it. Strangely enough, something similar happened to an uncle of Emperor Leandre II. His trade routes were returned to the reigning monarch. Why don't we just follow suit? A wise choice. Thank you for making it swiftly. All right. Cassandra, let's go. Oh, it's not Cassandra who wants to speak to us. The exclamation mark is over here. 
Sir Morris, what do you need? Oh, oh, Bells, it's you. Bells? Morris. Sir Morris, I suppose. I am serving as quartermaster for Skyhold and it's arrived. We haven't talked to you yet? Stores are growing, and so long as we have fair coin to restock, you and yours will be well served. <clears throat> the previous quartermaster survived Haven. Where is she? She had views. Has views. Perfectly legitimate ones if you share them, Inquisitor. I believe it was felt that your quartermaster should be more palatable now that the Inquisition is in Orlais. She continues to serve, just not at the fore. <laughs> what makes you ideal for this position? It's an important one. My family has ties to several freehold militias, as well as cousins acting as officers in Ferelden and Orlais. And your qualifications? My family holds treaties with three new money to Vinter houses and a rare Orzima contract with a Paragon namesake. And your qualifications? To be honest, Your Worship, that was my question. I am the nexus of a dozen threads tied by us, designed to cast the widest and most appealing resource net. But I will rise to the occasion. Skyhold will want for nothing. I swear it. <clears throat> How is it going? Do we have what we need? With Skyhold shining like a beacon? You name it, it's here or on the way. I've wrung out the slackers, given them what for. I think... I think I like this job. <laughs> okay. There are problems coming out of Halam Shiral? There are always problems from Halam Shiral. We've lost a few contracts, but more than made up for it. Although, if a few commendations were given, it might retie some severed threads. I couldn't suggest how. That is better decided at your war table, and I'm not going near that thing. As you were. We are here for you, Inquisitor. Okay. Excellent. I thought it was Cassandra with the exclamation mark, but uh, it wasn't. But let's talk anyway. Will you not consider it, Lady Cassandra? The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until... And you think I could make them agree? I've heard enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, your worship. She bothering you? Is there a problem? It seems like she's bothering you. Mother Giselle is kind, and she means well. So, yes, she was. <laughs> I assume you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next divine. I did because hear. Because of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. How can you and Liliana be candidates? You're not even priests. It's not without precedent. Amar III was sister to the Emperor, and Galatea a commoner. Leliana and I were, at least, part of the Chantry hierarchy. It would be accepted. If they'll pick non-priests, why am I not a candidate? Because they don't know what you are, and they're frightened of you. A weight such as yours would break the Sunburst throne and tear the Chantry to pieces. I just don't know why they believe Leliana or I would be any better. So... Of the three, of all our party members, I think Liliana and Cassandra would be good divines. Liliana needs to be softened a little bit before she can be a divine, of course. But yeah, Cassandra, a warrior, somebody who knows what's going on. I think Cassandra would be a good fit. Plus, Liliana is together with our hero of Ferelden, and yeah, they need to retire somehow, sometime after this. So yeah, you'd be perfect. I think you'd make an excellent divine. Truly? I never look good in hats. Nah, nobody really does. Surely it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars. This cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope, 
Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. I'm surprised to hear you, of all people, say that. Oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a Seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. If you're concerned, then make it better. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath, but deep down he believes. His heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a Chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it. Perhaps you are. You're not the only candidate. What about Liliana? Liliana says she wishes to follow Justinia's legacy. But she and I remember a different person. Justinia knew her fellow clerics and the people would only accept so much change. Liliana would cast it all aside and start over, I think. And that would be chaos for us all. What would you change about the Chantry? The Circle of Magi has its place, but it needs reform. Let the mages govern themselves with our help. Let the Templars stand not as the jailers of mages, but as protectors of the innocent. We must be vigilant, but we must also be compassionate to all peoples of Thedas, human or no. That is what I would change. I have influence, and I can use it to help the Chantry make up its mind. I cannot ask you to do that. You don't have to. If you think that is the right thing to do, then... Thank you. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. For now, restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. Support Cassandra operation available. Excellent. And uh, do you have anything else to say about Alam Shural? Oh, you're reading. Nice, nice, nice. Boo. Good book. Ah! Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, because I suddenly went blind. Oh, that. Just reports from Commander Cullen. You're an excellent liar. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. It's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords and Shields, the latest chapter. So you like to read? What's wrong with that? It's frivolous. There are more important things for me to do. She's read this one three times. You! <laughs> I told you to stop spying! You read it out loud to me. I don't like the captain either. I never did that. It's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Maybe I should read that book. You? No. Why not me? You're the Inquisitor. <laughs> oh, I see. They're terrible. And... Magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. You, you could ask him to finish it. Command him to... Uh -oh. Pretend you don't <laughs> know this about me. Sure, sure. Varric? Need something? Sandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. What's so surprising about that? Well, you have met Cassandra, haven't you? Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink.
I'm sure it's not as terrible as you think. Oh, there are a number of critics who'd be happy to argue with you. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition, I get to be there when you give her the book. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. Wow, five stars! This is your doing. Yep. Oh, yes. Do you really think I'd miss this? Well, if you're not interested, you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! <clears throat> no spoilers, please. This is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. I... Thank you. Varric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Ah, <sighs> completely worth it. Morgan! Hello! You're the Inquisitor. You're very short. Mother didn't say you were a dwarf. You caught me, and I was trying so hard to be taller. But you can't be taller, not without the Titans. Kieran, are you bothering the Inquisitor? Of course not. Did you see what's on her hand, Mother? I did see. Tis time to return to your studies, little man. <laughs> My son. Never where you expect him to be, naturally. I didn't know you had a son. Why would you? I take great pains to not let my own reputation affect him in any way. To most in the Imperial Court, he's simply a quiet and well-spoken lad. Perhaps the heir of some distant family. But he goes where I go. Worry not, Inquisitor. Kieran is a curious boy, but seldom troublesome. Will his father be joining us as well? I have raised Kieran on my own for quite some time now, as was my preference from the start. So, tis but the two of us, Inquisitor. Your fortress is a large place, and you will scarce notice our presence. He seems like a fine young man. But not the sort one might expect a woman like me to raise. No son of mine would be raised in a marsh, bereft of contact with the outside world. His future will be difficult enough without my adding to his burden. To think... Until recently, this place stood decrepit. Occupied only by the desperate and the lost. Now it is party to events that threaten to shake the world. I wonder if it is pleased. It sounds like you've heard of Skyhold before. This fortress was built upon the remains of a site holy to the ancient elves. They called it Tarar Salan, the place where the sky is kept. It is said that from here, they reached up to the heavens to bring them down to rest. They abandoned it, as did the humans who came after them. Bones laid upon bones, 
silent until your arrival. I like this place. I've made it mine. The magic in this place has seeped into the stones, protecting it from darkness. Those who let it fall to ruin did not know what they possessed. You, I think, shall do it justice. You were kind to welcome my aid, Inquisitor, even knowing as little of me as you do. I will do my best to aid your cause with all the knowledge at my disposal. This I swear to you. You swear it? That's rather serious. Some might think Corypheus a madman for seeking godhood. Yet one must ask what were the old gods? What secrets of theirs did the ancient magisters know? What I fear, what all should fear, is not that Corypheus believes he can succeed, tis that he actually may. Anything else? My Lady Inquisitor. Now that you've seen the Inquisition up close, what are your impressions? Tis remarkable what you have built. I will give you that. Leniana has built a network of spies beyond anything Thedas has seen. All this in precious little time, conjured from thin air through the power of fervor alone. I wonder if Corypheus suspected what he was enabling, just as I wonder what will become of all this once he is defeated. We have to defeat him first, then I'll worry about what's next. Should that happen, the world will lie at your feet, more or less. Beware the heights you reach, Inquisitor. When this is done, many will be eager to knock you back down. I'd like to know more about you. Ah, yes. Whence comes the mystery woman slinking her way into the Inquisition's ranks? Once I was an apostate, living well away from the banal influence of the Chantry in the Kakari Wilds. Then came the Fifth Blight with its dark spawn, and I left Ferelden for the Empress's court. Tis certain the nobles of Orlais breathe a collective sigh of relief that I am now here. You were in Ferelden during the Blight? The Blight began in the Kokari Wilds, so yes, I experienced it firsthand. Indeed, I fought at the hero of Ferelden's side for a time. She is the reason the Blight was defeated. I wish things had gone differently in the end. It had to be, yet. And after that, I came to Orlais. The last place one would look for me, or such was my hope. The Orlesian court seems like an odd place to find someone like you. That was the point, originally. I knew the Empress was intrigued by the Arcane, and that I could answer questions no Chantry mage could. Thus, we fit together nicely. I became her advisor, and she my benefactor and source of refuge. Truth be told, our arrangement would not have lasted much longer. Too many wagging tongues, even for Selene. It's odd that an apostate could live so... openly. <laughs> It confuses those who expect apostates to cower and hide. I stand boldly before them and demand to know why I need some Chantry mage to teach me to control my power. They would put me on a leash so they can feel safer at night. I am uninterested in their comfort. Naturally, it helps to have friends in high places. Tell me more about your son. He is a very special young man. Special in what way? In every way. At first, Kieran was a means to an end, but as he grew, I never thought of myself as a mother, Inquisitor. I, I had no good example to follow. I find myself becoming something I can barely recognize. I'll leave you to the garden. Of course. Wandering the gardens, I see. What work have you been doing to help us? Currently, my efforts are focused on determining what Corypheus is, and from where his power comes. The elven orb he carries is what draws my attention. I wonder if the power he used to tear open the Fade, in fact, came from the orb. Perhaps it is even the source of your anchor. If I learn of its origin, I may also learn what Corypheus now intends, as well as his weaknesses. You should get Dr. Sodas, then. I could use your company for my excursions outside Skyhold. I have spent my share of time wandering the wilderness in the company of others, Inquisitor. Thank you for the invitation, but for now I will restrict my efforts to researching the Arcane. Do 
you know anything about his dragon? It has the appearance of an archdemon. Of that, I am certain. A true archdemon, however, is supposedly the corrupted form of an old god. Has Corypheus actually dug up one of the ancient prisons? If so, why has a new blight not begun? His dragon is something else, something connected to his blighted nature as well as his magic. Beyond that, I cannot say. Is it even possible that Corypheus could succeed? The Black City exists. Wherever one goes in the Fade, it is visible in the sky. The last time Corypheus and his cohort stormed its doors, they unleashed the Blight upon the world. This time, perhaps he might indeed gain untold power, becoming something unto a god. It is also possible he could unleash something far worse than the Blights. So yes, Corypheus could succeed in his goal. If not, his attempt alone could destroy the world. Corypheus says I'm a rival. Does that mean... Could you become a god? That depends. Are you prepared to use your anchor to enter the Black City? No, never. Tell Corypheus that, and see if he believes you. However you can help, it's appreciated. Continue prodding at Corypheus, Inquisitor. Elicit a reaction, and we may yet learn from it. All right. I'll leave you to the garden. Until next time, then. Until next time. All right. Now that we have talked to everybody, done everything we needed to do, let's go talk to Sarah one more time. I can respect that. The Dasher. Kadash, just a warning, the Dasher is up to something. A lot of dusters are arming and all I get are sideways looks when I ask questions. Varla, you remember her? Cutpurse, Castless Brand, told me she heard them say they're taking out the Deep Lord from Ortomar on his way back from meeting the Inquisition. Don't know if it's true, but you might want to find out. Lantos. So, um... Not participating, Liliana says, our agents can scout the road to Orzammar and wipe out this ambush before it happens, or we should add our own soldiers to- has agreed to send us five dozen guards. Shut no, up! Recruits. Uh, with luck, they'll know which end to grip a sword by. And Colin says, we could, we should add our own soldiers to the Orzammar ambassador's escort. Hmm. I don't want to wipe out the ambush. Obviously, not everybody uh, from the Carta is participating because Lantos only gets sideways looks. So it's probably something of a clandestine operation within the Carta. So let's add some more security. Skyhold. Enemy engaged in switchback three miles from Orzammar. Ambassador arrived unharmed. Lieutenant Solange. Okay. Excellent. All right, and we are back. I have done a whole lot of um, board table missions in the meantime. Uh, I went and got a little transformation. We painted our hair uh, red, which I should have shown you outside because there's sunlight. Still think it's a little bit too bright. Can be a touch darker if you ask me, but uh, looks all right so far. Changed our Skyhold outfit to match the hair a little bit. So... Hi, Varric. Hmm. 
battling the demons of paperwork? That's a fight nobody walks away from clean. You have no idea the number of times I've almost been killed by bills of lading. I've been meaning to come talk to you anyhow. I never officially joined the Inquisition. I don't know how to do this uh, disciplehood thing. I'm a businessman. Never really followed the chosen one before. I'm a person like any other. You don't have to treat me differently. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm overthinking things. You just don't know what you are to the people out there. The Herald of Andraste is a symbol bigger than any of us. What am I to you, then? None of this shit makes any sense to me. Is this the end of the world? Did Andraste send you through the breach? I have no idea. You heard the crowd singing after Haven was attacked? Whatever I am to Thetis, I'm still just an ordinary person. So, just a regular person, like anybody else. Right. I should probably get back to work. Unless, uh, you up for a game of Wicked Grace? Anytime, Varric. Everybody is ready to level up, I see. So, Asteth. Um... Yeah, let's continue down the line of Berserker. Uh, damage bonus for missing health, or when an enemy dies near you, you get damage bonus. Let's do that one. Sarah, let's give you this flask, which stops time. I really like that one. Solus, we can continue your journey into... Rift Mage, let's give you Veil Strike, why not? Black Wall, um, I want to get to Walking Fortress for you, so these two. And let's go! Find Vidris, or we'll find them, don't you worry. We can explore a bit more while we are here as well, because I don't think we finished this area completely. I think there are still a few landmarks to find, maybe a few areas. So let's do that while we are here as well. Is there anything there except the lightning strike? Careful! Disturbing the water draws them out. Excellent. Don't think there's a whole lot to see on this side. Some more loot we don't need. Oh, what's this? Camper's message, Peter. You'll find this in the morning. I am moved on to the Dyer's camp in Granite Point. Any corpses come at us, it's our job to fill them with steel before they step past the stones. Don't sulk like a ninny boy. Bring a sword and defend what's left of your dawn of your damn home. Okay. There is a spirit over there. Another camp over here. The Lady of the Skies. Okay, yeah, that's the Avar thing. Excellent. And that's the end of the area over there. 
Oh, there is people all over this fucking place. How the hell is that possible? Notes on the stars, a collection of quickly jotted notes, written in a blocky hand. Moon rose a few minutes later today than it did a week ago. I don't think it moves like stars do. Is it because it's closer? Wilton pointed out another star in the south quarter of the sky. By one of the Tevinter constellations. Real faint. Boy has good eyes. Have him help me spot next week. Notes and book I found. Not a chart of the air as I thought. Notes and book I found. Not a chart of the air as I thought. Looks like different skies. Stars are different in the north than they are, than they are here. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, we did claim that area. And again, damn lightning in this area is... Whoa. Wait, where is the... Here it is. No, it's not. Where is the entrance uh, to his cave? Did I pass it already? I think I passed... No, nope, here it is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hidden apostate scam. Here we go. Oh, you, you can turn invisible, can't you? Excellent! Battle Mage armor. A whole lot of loot. Something to activate. Alright. Let's see if we can quickly finish up the rest of the areas in here. Regions complete. Excellent. Did we also do the... Um... The, the, the landmarks, Hinterlands, Meyer. No, we need still two more. I believe one of those regions is uh, landmarks is over here. Including a bear! Excellent! Uncle, I was hiding supplies above the rocks when I heard voices from the windmill to the west. It was the horned men again. There's more of them now. I have to see if anybody is still alive in the village. I'm sorry, but I swear I'll be careful. Well. That's either Uncle or Lewis. Anyway, you weren't careful. So this is the third landmark. Granite Point. Very well. And then... All that's left is the one at the windmill, I think. But there is a little bit to find up here as well. Just a chest, though. Nothing really interesting. And all grey stuff. And 
there we have the windmill and our final landmark, if I am correct. Yes, here it is. This sturdy windmill appears old, but well kept. And even though the door is boarded up, it is spinning. And nobody knows why it's spinning. I don't see any pumps. So I don't think it's pumping water out. And even if it was, where would it be pumping the water to? So my best bet is that this is a windmill that is used for uh, creating flour. But I don't see a whole lot of farming grounds here either, so... Nobody knows what the windmill is for. But it's running nonetheless. Alright. Um, final thing to do in here is the black wall thing. So let's go do that real quick. And then this area is done. Worth a look around, right? It is, but we need to go upstairs. Our grave keep. Here we are. Sarah, if you would be so kind. Excellent. Something to read. Our grave keep, sure. Some history. Ooh, a superb belt of healing. That is nice. Here it is. Grey Warden. No, that's his uh, song. And the Grey Warden thing. Okay. Shred of Blue. The history of the Grey Wardens is fascinating. Excellent. Even more loot. And a mosaic piece. Nice. Read are the slaves. Five out of twelve. Very well. And I think that is everything for this area. There is nothing left to do. Ooh, there is an exclamation mark over here. Let's go investigate real quick. What did we miss in this area? Ah, it's one of the houses. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we need to trudge through the water a little bit, unfortunately. And there's a key here somewhere, I believe. There it is. Waterlog diary, sure, some more loot. Yeah, I knew there was something else over here. We rushed this area a little bit first time we were here. Normally I do this the first time round. But since we were playing a nightmare and I was a little bit under leveled, I skipped this area the first time round, so there is something else. If you want to know where it is on the map, it is right here. There is. And I believe there is a mosaic piece in here somewhere. It's 
some loot. The magnificent. Note from Lewis. Oh, Ali. Not safe in the village. Jen saw horned monsters in fog near a castle. Uncle and I moving supplies to Granite Point. Come back for you and your mother once we make camp. Be safe. You're the only cousin I've got left. Okay. That's a bottle. Dragon piss. The name is probably figurative, but no one knows for sure. Excellent. Oh. So not a mosaic piece of bottle then. But we have now officially finished and completed the fellow Meyer, including another lightning strike. So this has been everything for today. I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.